So they want the absolute value of the difference between the zeros. All right, fine. So I'm just going to find the zeros and then uh, find the apps, like find their difference and then find the absolute value. So to find the zeros, I want to find out the values that make the values of x that make this equal to zero. And I'm going to ignore their answer key for a second. If I were just looking at this, I would uh, factor out a negative 2. x squared minus 4x minus 8 equals 0. And then I would attempt to factor because uh, factoring is fastest. Uh, multiply to negative 8, add to negative 4. But that doesn't work, so it doesn't factor. Well, that's okay. Quadratic formula will solve any quadratic equation. So we'll just plug it in to quadratic formula. Uh, a is just the 1, b is negative 4, c is negative 8. Notice that negative 2 doesn't make a difference at all. You can divide both sides by negative 2. It's gone. Um, or you could have done a, b, and c with the original. You'll get the same answer. You'll just have to simplify it a little bit more at the end. Um, excellent. But I'm going to go with these guys. So I'm going to have negative b, so that'll be positive 4, plus or minus b squared is 16, minus 4 times 1 times negative 8, all over 2 times 1. Simplifying the inside of the square root, we'll have 16 plus 32, which is 48. Um, I want to go ahead and take the square root of 48 off to the side and simplify it. However you like to simplify your square roots, uh, a lot of people like trees. Trees are pretty, so two groups of two. So one representative from each group comes out. Square root of two squared is two. Square root of two squared is two. And square root of three is the square root of three. So everything is multiplying, so that'll be four root three. Others might see, my teachers always saw, hey, 48 is 16 times 3. So, and 16, they're looking for divisibility by perfect squares. So, root 16 times root 3 is 4 root 3. So, however you get there, you get uh, 4 plus or minus 4 root 3 all over 2. And then you can simplify magic triangle style, my teacher said. Like, so if you can divide all three of those by the same thing, go ahead and do it. Uh, so that's 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 all over 1. Those are your zeros. Uh, that magic triangle, I don't know, I like it, but it's technically because you're factoring out a 2 and letting it cancel, right? So sometimes we get so glib in our or, or uncareful in our cancellations, we start to cancel out funny things. So just remember, you can only cancel out factors, and that's why this step is why that magic triangle works. Um, and so, of course, they didn't just want the zeros. They wanted the absolute value of the difference of the zeros. So the difference, we're going to subtract them. So we have two roots, one, two, plus two root three, and the other one is two minus two root three. The difference of those, we will subtract them. And uh, so that's two plus two root three minus two plus... 2 root 3, so the 2's cancel, and you've got just 4 root 3 as the difference. Um, they want the absolute value of the difference, which in my case is just 4 root 3, but that's them covering themselves in case you decided to subtract in a different order. You would have gotten negative 4 root 3, and then the absolute value would have made it positive. So 4 root 3 is our guy. Thankfully, we see it there, and we match their answer. Yay! Not bad.